What up, y'all? It's Boost Marion here at the Boost Performance Center with my guy, Pep Fernandez. We got a training tip for you. Football season is coming to an end. Time to get ready for the off-season work. And of course, you got to brush up on your 40-yard dash start. So this training tip is going to be a little bit more specific to football players. I love this drill. I've coached a couple top performers in a regional football camp, and I love it because it's all about technique. So come check it out. So I'm with my man Frog here, he's going to help us break it down really quick. He's going to take it, first off, he likes to have his left foot up in his 40-yard dash start, so he's going to take his left toe and bring it to his right heel. Then he's going to bring his right foot right next to his left foot. Nice. Now we're going to find the width. That width is usually going to be hip width, but just for you know a standard width, you're gonna, it's going to be the, the width of your foot. So he's going to bring that right heel, and he's going to open it up, and it's going to be perpendicular. His foot's, right foot's going to be perpendicular to his left. There we go, then he's gonna turn that foot again so his both toes are pointing forward, and now we have our width, which is the width of his foot, okay? Now he's gonna back that right foot up about four to six inches. Nice, so we got a little bit of depth here. Okay, so next, he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna bring his hips down. He's gonna have his right hand behind the line, and he's gonna have his left hand above the line. Okay, now, if you take a look at him now, he's gonna lean forward a little bit, Lean forward, Frog, good. He's gonna have his chin to his chest. Now, I'm gonna have Frog hold the position for a little bit so you guys can see it, but typically, from the moment you start to raise your hips, the moment you start to raise, it's a three count. One 1,000, two 1,000, three, three 1,000, and then we take off. But, because I wanna break this down for you guys, I'm gonna have him hold the position a little bit, which is tough, because you wanna have all your momentum going forward. So, Frog, I, go ahead, I want you to go ahead and raise those hips, keeping your chin nice and low, get that arm up. Okay, so a couple things I wanna focus on here. He's gonna raise his back arm. Okay, so how do you know if your hips are high enough? Number one, your back shin should be at a 45 degree angle. There should be a sliver of space between that back knee and that front calf. And how do we know if we're getting enough forward lean? He's gonna lean forward enough to where he's got a nice bend in this front ankle here. So he's gotta be have a, a high level of dorsiflexion. That knee's gotta be over that toe. Raise the hips a little bit higher. You see Frog starting to fatigue here a little bit. It is tough to hold the position. Get that back, get that, get your hips up a little bit higher. He wants to get that back shin to 45 degrees. Knees over the toes and he has to hold that position. Go ahead and relax. All right, so it's actually a very tough position to hold. I'm gonna have Frog start naturally. He's gonna start from the top. All right, Frog, you're gonna get in that position. You're gonna give me that three second, uh, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, you're gonna take off. All right, so he's getting his depth from the line. He's getting his width. Backing that back foot up four to six inches, crouching down, right hand's behind the line. Go ahead and move that right hand up a little bit more, Frog. Left hand's above, he's gonna drop that chin, very nice. Leaning for one, 1,000, two, 1,000. So there you have it, the 40 yard dash start. There's a lot of technique that goes into this start. If you don't do it well, it can definitely hinder your 40 yard dash time. And if you do it well, it can make a huge difference. We work these in the off season at the Boost Performance Center. If you don't know, now you know. Boost man.